Welcome, 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 welcome. Wait, I'm using my own computer, so the quality is not as good, guys. Okay, but um, I gotta go get another one later. Yeah, another one. Anywho, let's see what we're looking at. Let's see what we're looking at. So welcome, 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 welcome. So today is the sixth of September. Ooh, Pisces new moon. I don't have time to do a moon reading. Alright, let's do a brief new moon. You know, FYI, guys, um, the videos I've been doing does you know, have a lot to do with the new moon, but um, especially Uranus and Taurus and, um, you know, Venus. The Venus read was really Pisces energy. Um, Yeah, I'm not going to do new moon today. I'll do new moon tomorrow. Okay. So this is just someone's scenario. So we have we have the Man of Worlds, the Four of Worlds, and we have the Six of Worlds. And then we have the Death card. All right. um, we have the Four of Wands, the Empress. We have the Nine of Wands. So someone's confused whether or not to fight. Um, something didn't go in somebody's direction when it came to, when it came to someone. We have, so we have the man of pen, we have the king of pens, okay, with the four, four worlds, okay, confusion, the death card, aspiration, the empress, the Nine of Wands and the Woman of the Queen of Pents reversed. Okay, so it, it's like super confusing what I'm saying. Um, why am I even attempting to do a read today? Jeez, even intense that is to be doing a reading. I don't know what I was thinking. Tell me about the Man of Worlds, Queen of Pents, Queen of Pents. This is somebody who's got goals, you know, achieving, achieving goals with the King of Cups. I mean, with the Knight of Cups. Okay, so I don't know if he's dealing with the water sign or not, Earth sign, doesn't really matter. But this is somebody who's about to come in charming. But I think they think they missed an opportunity. Okay, tell me about the four. Oh, four pets. All right, so yeah, at some point, definitely let the Emperor down, Empress down. Oh, wow, both cards came out. Is that like such a gloss on, on him? Let me, um, let me shut the, um, oh, why did I shut the light off? Let me shut the light off. Let's kind of see if maybe the glare would be any better. Um, so, at some, oh, let me fix this for you. Goodness, I'm the only one messed up today. So, we have the Empress reversed with the Emperor. So this is like a court couple for sure. So apparently this Knight of Cups at some point must have let the Empress down. Or she's just no longer putting effort and energy into the Emperor. Okay. So now we got, it looks like the Emperor coming in. Solid. Kind of long-term plans. You know, Romeo. We got Romeo. Um about the six of crystals so this is someone's confused i don't know i don't know who's confused okay so now we got the lovers no see no so there's talks about a very you know a special bond and a decision but someone's confused so i i don't know if we have two men on my board okay we could have possibly an aries and a capian um tell me about the death card. so it looks like if that's the case, okay, so the death cat, so now somebody wants to work together. So it looks like a Cappy wants to work together with you. Um, it looks like some of you might actually be in a marriage or a long-time committed relationship, and now there's somebody else in the picture. 
And with the death card representing happy, it looks like strong happy energy. And now they want to come in turning off the lover. I don't know if you're moving. They want to move in together with you. Tell me about the four of wands. So now we got the empress twice too, okay? So I don't know what happened in the household before, but now we got the hierophant reverse. So this is somebody who doesn't does not want to be committed or didn't at the time. This is somebody who also doesn't want to be in the spotlight. Tell me about the hierophant. So now we got the empress twice. We got a reverse and we got an upright. Okay, but you're gonna get a message. I don't know who you're going to get a message from. I, I think it's, it's a message from the Knight of Cups. Ultimately, someone who's in a lot of happy energy. So someone serious. Tell me about the Empress. Seven of Wands reversed. So she's not even going to bother standing up for herself right now because... She's not taking action. So it looks like somebody has got two people to choose from, to be honest with you. And one of them you're going to put absolutely no effort into. And I don't know if you're going to pursue the other one or not. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. Someone's going to fight for you. Or Nine of Wands with the Nine of Swords. That's two nines. Um, or what this is saying to me, too, is... Because it's under someone feeling like it was a missed opportunity, you know, they feel like it might not not really work out. Um, if you ask me, they don't really know what's up with the Empress anyway. But I think because it's going in that direction, there's something with this person. I don't know if they were living with somebody else. If there was something going on with this person when you originally met this person. With strong happy energy. Whoever whoever Romeo is to you, there was already something going on. Now they feel like they missed an opportunity with the Empress, but yet they kind of want to take the lead, or they're or they're saying, you know, was very arrogant. And I am confused about this connection because it's strong, you know. But yeah, it was over. But now I want to work together. I want to send a message, but I don't know how this person's gonna respond. You know, somebody's incredibly stressed out, but wants to give it like one more, one more fight, but stressed out at the same time. And you got the Queen of Pence over here reverse. That's not persevering. That's not pushing through. You know, so yeah, see, it's like there's there's nothing passionate. This this woman's feeling no passion towards someone, and I think it's because it was over. So I think what this is telling me is that. With the wheel being here too, and it was being it was reversed. This is this is all past tense. This is something that happened in the past. And now you got this person coming in, and it's that same person. Oh Jesus. Welcome to Mercury Retrograde, guys. I, I don't know why I spaced that for a split second. This is what this is. So this is someone's story from an ex relationship. And you might actually be with somebody else. But this person's gonna come in regardless. As soon as they come out of confusion, it won't be long because the emperor takes charge. Okay. And I'm telling you, this is something that was definitely done. There's no intimacy with you guys now. There's no, yeah, the passion might be there, but but not, not really. Not, there's something, you know, but I'm telling you, I don't like this. The woman of the world not nurturing themselves or just not nurturing the situation. Like passion is not even driving this person right now. Towards this path. So I don't know how this is really going to work out for you. Especially if somebody is like. Does not want somebody back. And it's going to refuse it. And shut it down. It doesn't look good. And some of you need to do that. And others. I don't know if this is an apology. Because I just heard apology. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. What does she want? Is, is worried whether or not you're going to invest time. In this person, this person thinks that they're not going to have an opportunity to invest time with you anymore. So this is this is some some murky muddy water. This is some muddy water for sure. Okay, 
whatever it is that went down between you guys. It looks like there was possibly somebody else. Even if there was not anyone else, um, you guys are definitely not talking right now. This this person is just, you know, confused uh, about how to fight for you. They know somehow you lost, they lost that connection with you. And I think they know they caused it. Because <coughs> at the time, this person did not want to be in a commitment at all. At all. And you could have been blocked. But now they're about to unblock you. But they they don't know. They're, they still don't know how to take action. This person you're dealing with. Or they just think you won't. But they want to message you for damn sure. So if you were blocked, you are officially unblocked. This person does not know how to take action. Looks like the Empress was blocked. She was sitting on top of the Empress. So she was blocked. Something did not turn out in your direction, obviously. But now this is this is Mercury coming back around. You know, this person doesn't think that they have another shot. But yet, at the same time, wants to fight for you. So now you understand this person's confusion because there's a bond here. But they're super confused. The Emperor's super confused. This card represents confusion. It's also karma. Okay. So, like, they want to fight for you. They have some anxiety. They definitely want to fight for you now. But they're confused because it's almost like, I don't want to go in and look like a fool or I don't want to go in and be emasculated, how, whatever the case may be, because they feel like it's sitting on the four of cups. They feel like and it's reverse. They feel like they missed an opportunity, but the opportunity is actually rolling back around. But they think that you're not going to invest time. So we got a little depression here, too. We got murky water. OK, and we got somebody who might be a little arrogant. But I don't know if they're just in interested in your pen. So be careful. So I don't know if Romeo is coming in because they know they can be emperor one day and sit pretty with the empress. So if the empress was, was blocked, I'm telling you, you're unblocked. You're no longer blocked. And you're going to get this message. And to me, it's divine. So it is what it is, ladies and gents. Um, it's just divine timing. It doesn't mean it's meant to be. Please believe that. But it is divine timing. So there's lessons here, too. But you're going to get a message from this Knight of Cups that's in heavy King of Pence energy. The, the King of Pence, depending on how he comes in, right now he's coming in as Romeo. All right, but you got to remember he's confused. I want to fight for you. I know there's a bond, but this Emperor is looking at this Pence. So I don't know if he's more invested in the money or not because the Empress holds money. See what I'm saying, guys? The Empress holds a lot of money. And now they want to sit pretty with the Empress and, and, and be the